Hey guys, um, I am doing things kind of out of order. I'm gonna film my book haul for January, even though I'm not, I haven't like, there's no numbers involved, there's no nothing. I just need to shelve these books because I'm getting anxiety of all of these stacks behind me. So I'm gonna do my book haul portion of January. And then um, I will add this to my other video where I will talk about how I did or like, you know, what my numbers are, <laughs> which is not good. Um, e, I will say some of these books that I'm adding to this pile are not specifically like TBR added books maybe. So that's good, I guess. We'll start with those ones, yeah, probably. So as you know, Jake got a job at Dark Horse, which means that now there's like so many Dark Horse things coming into my house. So, you know, this is just one comic, which is shocking. There's a lot more comics that are in this house. Um, so I'm gonna have to, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. I, I don't know if that's what, how I want my life to be personally, so, but we'll see. Um, and then he also brought in this thing that, again, I don't know if this is what I want my life to be, but it's um, The Legend of Korra, book two, Spirits, The Art of the Animated Series. So. It is like vaguely interesting. It goes into, you know, how things are made um, or animated. And wow, that's not helpful. So, you know, it's interesting, but it's not going on my TBR. Um, and something else that's not going on my TBR is this. Um, I think I saw this on Jean's channel, one of those, the British women, um, 15 minute vegan on a budget. So. Um, I am not vegan or vegetarian, but I obviously would like to eat more meals that don't involve meat. So, um, I am excited about this and it says on a budget and it says 15 minutes. Those are really important words, I think. And then one last thing that is not being added to my TBR is Picture of Dorian Gray um, by Oscar Wilde. I have read this book already. Uh, Jake bought this because a friend of his is the person who made this piece of art that's on the front. So... Um, we got this in Austin at Book People. He saw this and then he was like, oh, that's my friend. I guess I should tell you his friend's name. Pace Taylor, cover illustration by Pace Taylor. So um, if I remember, I'll try to link stuff below. So those are things that came into my life that are not being added to my TBR. Um, let's see. Oh gosh, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Okay, so we'll start with some mistakes, I guess. Oh no, let's start with this. <laughs> this is not a mistake. Uh, this is a gift to Jake from Jake's dad. Uh, what Einstein Told His Cook by Robert L. Wolk. Kitchen Science Explained. So, um, you know, that sounds super interesting to me. So I'm excited uh, to read that. Um, and then what? else oh and then this one also jake um got from his work criminal criminal <laughs> Ooh. criminal macabre um the complete cal mcdonald series by stephen niles and this looks like just um like a very crime noir -y situation um and then i think these I went into Powell's to buy a little gift for um, our friend. Um, we went to Austin. Was that last month? I'm so confused. Um, anyway, so while we were there, I got also this book uh, for a meetup group that I did not go to and it passed already. Uh, you Never Forget Your First by Alexis Koo, Co. Um, and this is a biography of George Washington. I did start it and it's um, interesting because it has like a lot of like listicle kind of things and they are interspersed throughout the book too so um or just like different you know things that make it so that your brain is more engaged I guess um and then I picked up Miss Iceland for uh for we did Iceland last month um I did not read it um by Audor Eva Olaf Olaf's daughter um, and I don't even know what this is about, but that's okay. Um, translated by Brian Fitzgibbon. I really wish that women would translate women. <sighs> okay. 
Um, so yeah, just add that to the list, I guess. And then while I was there, I'm pretty sure these two books, is that when I bought this? I don't even know when I bought this and I just bought these books last month. I'm pretty, I'm pr pretty sure that's when I bought this. Um, Cane by Jean Toomer, um, Toomer, um, with a forward by Zinzi Clemens and I've read her, her book already. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, published, it's from the Harlem Renaissance, published in 1923. So poetry, prose, and play like dialogue. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I've never heard of this and I'm pumped on that. And then also this one was like calling to me. I think it was like on a, I think both of these were on those like recommended kind of shelves. Um, Anybody Home by Michael J. Seidlinger. Um, and... <laughs> What came first, the home or the desire to invade? <laughs> ah! um, I love scary things. Like, I'm a huge, huge fan. And on the front, that's funny. It says, this book makes Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay look like a cakewalk. This is the most intense psychological horror you have ever read. Seriously, it makes Out by Natsuo Carino look tame, <laughs> which is bonkers because that book is bonkers. Ah, but it's not like, I wouldn't call it like a psychological horror though. So anyways, <laughs> I read the first sentence because I was nervous that I wouldn't get on with it and it seemed it seemed good so I'm so excited but yeah I love horror things but I don't really read horror books I feel like it's not like I need like the visual to be scared but we'll see I'm into it so um and then oh I also have e my poetry from February 2023 that I got and then I think the rest of these I got on the trip. Although, what is that? Oh, that's the book that I'm reading right now. <laughs> um, so first are the two that I got when I was with, um, oh my gosh, is it Kirsten? I think it's Kirsten. Now I'm losing my marbles. If it's Kirsten or Kristen, I apologize, but I feel 85% confident it's Kirsten. Um, either way, I'm going to end, or I'm not going to end. I'm going to pause this and insert the name of the bookstore because I forgot to look it up again, but the bookstore that she took me to is, uh, the bookstore is called Reverie. Reverie. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but let me make sure I don't have anything on here. Yeah. Okay. So it's, um, Reverie Books. So that's the, um, the bookstore that, uh, Kirsten took us to. And again, it was delightful. <laughs> okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Great. And it was super, super cute. Um, it was just so adorable. I had such a good time with her. I, that is like, Again, one of the greatest pleasures of having a booktube channel is getting to meet people <laughs> on the internet or like people that you've met on the internet. I just like have not had a bad experience yet, I guess. There's always the opportunity in the future, but um, it's just, it was a pleasure. And so um, I bought both of these on her recommendation. Um, the first is Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. Um, and I have wanted to read this basically since all of the stuff happened, but I was like, oh, I don't like need to read it right now. And I don't know if it was in paperback yet. So I basically like wasn't compelled to pick it up, even though I knew I was going to get it. So she kind of pushed me to get that one. And then the seven, I think she said that was her first book of this year and she really liked it. Um, and then the seven moves of Molly Almeida, um, by Shihan Karun, uh, Tali mm. Karuna Tali Biscuits, why is that so hard? Karuna Tilaka. Okay, there we go. Um, I have no idea what this one is about. Um, but, oh, Sri Lanka. Cool. Oh, I don't think I have read a book by a Sri Lankan author. Um, so that's exciting. So, yes. Uh, but again, I'm very easy if you're out in public with me and you tell me that you like something, I'll pretty much buy it. I'm very basic and boring. Um, then we went to um, uh, Vintage. This one I have, see that's the problem is that the, the, the bookmark that I got from, unless there's a receipt in here, no. The bookmark that I got from this place uh, is a really cool hand painted. Um, so it, it, it doesn't have their name on it, which is, a a bummer. Um, but anyways, we went to Vintage, which is a wine bar slash 
bookstore and it's like in a house or it used to be some kind of like medical office or something. Anyways, it was super, super rad. Um, and I got How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Sherry Jones. And again, this is one of those books that I've wanted. It's been on my radar, but I haven't like felt compelled to buy it because again, there's so many things behind me. So these are the kind of perfect books to buy when you're out on a vacation or like doing a bookshop crawl or something where you need to get, or you need to get something, you want to get something. Um, and so finding something that's been on your radar is, is the best. Uh, so yeah, I'm super, super pumped, uh, to finally have my hands on that one. And then, um, the next, yeah, I'm so confused that I, I only bought two books at book people. Hmm. Oh, I bought Kane at book people. Oops. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's, see, receipts, good to keep them. Um, I also purchased Punk's New and Selected Poems by John Keane. And um, I saw Bert from Pastori Time. I feel like he said this was one of his top reads of last year. So I'm excited. I kind of want to add this to my TBR for this month, even though the month is almost over and I haven't really been reading much. But I'm kind of like, mm, I should read this. I'm gonna put this on my pile of what I wanna read this month. Um, and then I also purchased uh, Baron Bag, Badge, uh, I don't know, uh, by Alexander Lernay Holenia um, with a forward by Patty Smith, translated by Richard and Clara Winston. And this looks like it's oh, New Directions. Yeah, I'll just, you know, you can just, they call to me, the New Directions. Um, and this looks uh, super fun. On the back it says, astonishing novel of love and valor, war and stupidity, uh, super into it, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yes, great, I'm pumped. Um, and then on the way home, I bought a book at the, blah, at the airport bookstore. I bought Lemon um, by Kwan Yu Sun. Um, and this one is an other press book. And it is translated, I assume, by Janet Hong. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea about this, but again, you know, it called to me, it's translated, whatevs. And then I have one last book, um, and this one Kirsten sent to me. Again, I'm hoping that her name is Kirsten, and if not, I like you so much and I want you to keep liking me. <laughs> um, but she read this book and I think she said that she usually sends her books to her daughter um, that she's read, but I think her daughter wasn't interested in this one. And uh, I was like, I'm interested because uh, it's translated and it's a um, deep vellum, which again is really all that I need because I'm so basic. Um, it's The End of the World, My Love by Ala Gorbunova, uh, translated by Elena Alter. And I actually own... Um, uh, two lines press that you know they come out as the calico series and so they do different um different things so there's like arabic woman uh, poets there's the sci chinese sci-fi um there's the queer brazilian um stuff there's uh and then one of them is i think it's russian i'm pretty sure she's russian um it was a Russian collection of women, um, but I, I can't remember. And she was either in it or edited it or something like that. So um, that is exciting too. So anyways, those are the books for January. It was a lot. And I probably, you know, and it's just worse in February. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching this portion and back to the rest of the video. Um, hey, so I'm just going to finish doing my January, whatever. <laughs> um, basically I did the book haul portion of my wrap up. And so now I'm going to do my numbers, my TBR check-in, whatever. Um, I don't think that I've mentioned it yet because I've, I've just like been so behind and like not good at things, but I'm also going to, I have started also tracking my cart of shame. So I'm trying to monitor how many things leave my card of shame, aka how many things I finish from my card of shame and how many things get added to it. So things that I start in a month and then don't finish and end up in the sad area. Um, so in January, I started off, I started off the year with 64 books. 66? 66, 66 books. 
started and unfinished, <laughs> okay? Um, but during January, I took five of those off and I did add one, I, I you know, uh, I removed five, I think I DNF'd two and I read three and then I started something and didn't finish it in January. So that brought my total to 62. So there's 62, well now there's, now there's more, but <laughs> there were 62 at the beginning of February. Um, I purchased 17 books in the month of January. I read six, DNF'd two, um, so a total of five books added my TBR shelves behind me. So um, not a great start to the month. Uh, February is way worse. <laughs> so here's hoping we're in March. Um, so far in March, I'm not doing super great either, but I feel semi-confident. Um, so yeah, that is the end of this video, I guess. And I will talk to you another time.